Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Area 51 that the government don't want you to know. That's run by fallen angels. Area 51 that the government don't want you to know. That's run by fallen angels. Now, I'm going to talk about that area along with tie into the living word so y'all can see the correlation here. Okay, so I'm going to go to this man here named Robert Scott Laser. Okay, it says here is an American conspiracy theorist who claims we have been hired in late 1980s to reverse engineer extraterrestrial technology at what he described a secret site called S4. Laser Agilis that this subsidiary installation is located several kilometers south of United States Air Force facility popularly known as Area 51. Now, let's go to the claims here. Okay. Uh, right here. Okay. Laser has claimed, let's see, focus. Laser has claimed that the propulsion of the study vehicle ran on antimatter reactor and was fueled by the chemical element with atomic number 115E115, which at the time was provisionally named un un -patum and had not yet been officially created. It was first synthesized in 2003 and later named Muscovum. He further said that the propulsion system relied on stable isotope of E115, E which actually generates a gravity wave that allowed the vehicle to fly and to evade visual detection by bending light around it. No stable isotopes of Moscovum have yet been synthesized. All have proven extremely radioactive, decaying in a few hundred milliseconds. A laser also said the craft was dismantled and the reactor he studied was topped by a sphere or semi-sphere, which emitted a force field capable of repulsing human flesh. Okay, let's go up here. Laser additionally claimed that the doing, doing his joining, doing is joining the program. He read brief, briefing documents describing the historical involvement of the Earth for the past 10,000 years with extraterrestrial beings described as gray aliens from planet orbiting the twin, twin binary star system Zeta Reticle. Hmm. Now let me go up here. Now you know when they talk about um, conspiracy theories, they don't want you they want you to act like they don't know what they're talking about. Okay. But in reality, are talking about it, okay? Here we go. It says, Laser claims he had an examined alien craft that ran an anti-matter anti reactor powered by element 115, which at the time had not been synth yet been synthesized. He also claims they have read U U.S. government briefing documents that describe alien involvement in human affairs hmm, over the past 10,000 years. Laser's claims resulted in bringing added public attention to Area 51 and fueling conspiracy theories surrounding its classified activities. Laser's story has been sent, since been analyzed and rejected by skeptics and some neurologists. Of course. Of course. They don't want to fully admit the truth. Universities from which he claims to hold degrees show no record of him. Hmm. Supposed former workplace have disavowed him. Hmm. In 1990, he was convicted for his involvement in prostitution ring again in 2006, 2006 for selling illegal chemicals. Now, let's go back down. Okay. Gray aliens. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Let's go to Zeta Rilicum. Okay. Zeta Rilicum is a wide binary system, a binary star system in the southern constellation Rilicum. From the southern hemisphere, the pair can be seen with the naked eyes of double star and very dark skies. What is this fallen star? Hmm, could it be Satan? Let's look it up. Let's put Zeta Rilica Satan star. Okay. Zeta Satan star. Now, let's go down. Click this link on Facebook here. Superstar powers exposed. Aberdeen and Zeta Rilica. Influencing Japanese goth power metal rock bands like Unluck Unlucky Marcus's Black Pentagram. Do y'all see that? 
Fugie is the female lead singer of the band with an excellent dramatic voice. The members of the rock band Unlucky Marcus have described themselves as a band with love for metal. Okay, The band is a project of some noble musicians in the rock and metal industry. Okay, if you go down, they talk about the black pentagram even more so. You see that? Go down. You see these people are Satanists. Okay? And I told you that these witches use crosses. Again, all ties to what I'm saying. Okay? Let's go back. Now, if you put Area 51. Area 51 is where they do their mind control experiments. Lucifer has fell down from heaven. Okay? God has kicked him out with a lightning bolt as a fallen star unto this earth. Okay, with his army. And Area 51 is the area where they are creating their army of demons. Okay, why they are using human subjects, human experiments to do so. They want to create their de the demonic army, which they are doing. Okay, the demonic soldiers. Okay, um, if you put Area 51 on the net. Mind control experiments. Okay. You already see Project MK Ultra Mind Control, CIA Mind Control. Okay, you keep going down the secret history of the Fourth District, the CIA base mind control. Okay, you keep going down. You see it's all about mind control. Right? Ah, let's go back. And what gets to me is what make it so secretive is because they don't want you to know they are doing this, okay? Look, mind control lawsuit. Area 51 is part of Edwards Air Force B victims of LSD experiments, MK Ultra. Mind control, mind control, Area 51, aliens. These are demons. Now, let's put the gray aliens, okay? The gray aliens are demons that have taken human form that walks among us okay and uh this is why y'all keep catch these people be shape-shifting because these people are demons walking in the flesh and um they are seeking on whom they can devour by creating the army okay so i'm going to show you that even though they put this as, as fandom Which is really not a fandom at all. Because they got it on Wikipedia too. <sighs> These things have dark black eyes. Okay, let's go up. See? And they humanoids. Humanoids. Aliens. Called the greys. Okay. Reptoids. These things are actually fallen angels. Okay. I just want y'all to see that. Okay, and of course they got it on what we could, uh, Wikipedia too, Zeta Riddikens, Zeta, uh, the Zeta star that I just talked about, okay, which represents the fallen star. They talk about how they look and everything. They have black eyes. This is demonic, okay, demonic activity we have in this world today. So this is why they don't want you to know about Area 51 too much. If you go to Area 51, you'll get arrested. If you can cross over there, you get arrested. They don't want you to know that they are doing human experiments to create their army of demons to get you to idolize them as gods. Okay? Now, now, let me say this. Anytime you see a government facility shut down, that's exactly what they are doing. Human experiments to get you to idolize these things as gods. Okay? So that is why they become musicians and celebrities, politicians, false prophets, you name it. They, they become that so they can get you to idolize them as gods. And they are creating their army and they have many of their army as we speak today. Okay. Now, how does this tie into the word? Let's go to Revelation 9. Okay. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven. 
under the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given a power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Okay, and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Not the seal of God in their foreheads, okay? And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they, sh they should be tormented five months. And the torment was in the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts, and were unto horses preparing to buy a battle. And on their heads were as were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many houses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and they were stings in their tails, and the powers to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Sorry, guys. Which is the angel of the bottomless pit? And what is that angel? Satan. Okay? Satan. And whose name? The Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, which means Satan. Okay? But in the Greek tongue had his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose and which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth, brimstone and the heads of the horses, whereas the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. For their powers in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and, head, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and wood and of wood, which neither can neither see nor walk nor nor hear, nor see, nor walk. Neither repented their, they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Okay. As you can see who will fall is people who are not of God. Okay. But as you can see, the fallen star is Lucifer. The, the, the bottomless pit. The, the angel of the bottomless pit is Lucifer Abaddon. Now, I'm going to put Abaddon on the net. Okay. Abaddon. Abaddon. Lucifer. Right here. We know Abaddon, the demonic paradise, they call it. <laughs> Angel or demon, Napoleon. Okay, let's go down. Legend of locusts like demons. Okay. Let's see. Um, which is still Satan. Focus. Okay, being, being all hell, that's Satan. Okay. Human-sized locusts and grizzly is a swarm of locusts and undersense insects that carry infectious diseases as a king. Right, in many circles, he's considered to be associated with Satan, even though it's far to claim the evidence another name for Satan. Now, now you see how this all comes together. Okay, I'm bringing it all together unto y'all. So y'all can see what y'all been idolizing all this time. <laughs> this is why God tell us to stop worshiping devils and idols of gold and all these other things because what you are worshiping is fallen angels that came down from heaven 
and they are demonic and very evil okay they have murdered a lot of people and they are very treacherous of that okay and y'all idolizing them as gods see they are they are in the celebrity world they're in the political world they are in the um rich elite world they also your false prophets in these churches <laughs> as we speak and area 51 is one of those sites one of those places where they have um their little area to do their demonic activity at to mind control in order to create their army okay of course they're recruiting more so as much as you sign your soul away to them okay and this is what they don't want y'all to realize okay how can they get you under submission okay first you they have to deceive man and they have to get you mind control under the submission to praise them as i as their as their gods as your they want you to praise them as they they as your gods okay and you don't want to do that okay they use their witchcraft to get you to do that, people. And Area 51 is one of those places they do this type of stuff. And Satan and this fallen star of all his beasts have fell down from heaven to deceive man and to get them to um, go to hell with them. Okay? They have taken human form, people. Okay? This is why y'all catching them shape-shifting and stuff. They have taken human form, people. In order to deceive you. And the more you, dis more you idolize these demonic things. The more you will fall with these demonic things. Okay. They actually are real. Okay. This is why y'all can see these things happening. This is why it's like it's very odd to what they're doing. Because they are demonic. That is the reason why they are kicked out of heaven from the get. And this is why they don't want you to go to Area 51. Because they're doing human experiments. And doing things against God over there. Okay. So. The Bible is the truth you guys. This is why they don't like the King James Version Bible. Because it tells you exactly what they are doing. Okay. So. That's why I wanted to touch on that area. Because. That's the area. That they also do their dirt. And uh, Robert Laser Came up. Um, he told, told, told about it. And. He was under a murder invest. Um, they were under uh, when they came and raided him about that. It was mur it was involving a murder investigation. Okay, a murder investigation. They murder somebody. Of course, they satanists. Okay, of course they fallen angels, and people are idolizing these things. Okay, people stop idolizing these things. Seek the word right here. For God is the only King. We shall worship Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God.